Okay. Oh, it's you kids. Did you find out anything about the incident? <laughs> you bet. Valuable information at that. The Sky Bennett's and the Capula family. You're right, that is valuable. It looks like we'll be able to decide on a policy for the Bracer Guild related to this. However, I'm surprised that General Morgan is even is an even bigger Bracer hater than I originally thought. In Roland, the job of a Bracer is- oh. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about it. General Morgan is an exception. Under normal circumstances, the Royal Army and the Guild maintain a pretty good cooperative relationship. However, it looks like this time you're going to need to deal with a lot more uh, obstruction than normal. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe at. I think the bandits are probably responsible for the burglaries, but I don't believe at all that they abducted an airship. Uh. Yeah. I'm I am positive that they're not actually behind the airship abduction. In light of that, we should probably do a little more on the investigate side ourselves. Aha! Okay, I'm probably gonna go run and do that pretty soon. Uh, Bear Claw? I have some Bear Claws, don't I? Hmm. Okay, Pharmacy. A ferocious monster known as a Master Kraton, Nubble Valley. West Bose. Thunder Quake. Okay, let's go here for now. Mayor Maybell has been excitedly awaiting your report. Okay, she's not in the kitchen. Um. Hmm. Indeed. Dealing with complaints from the citizens. Late deliveries of goods to the Bose market. Servicing the sewer facilities. Selecting a congratulatory gift. Harm incurred by monsters. When will all this paperwork finally end? Estelle knows that feel. You look pretty busy, so would it be better if we came back at a later time? No, you're fine. So you found out something from the General Morgan, right? I'd like to hear about it. Mm-hmm. There's a hijacking by someone. Uh, the Skybends have claimed responsibility. If the General hadn't found out we were bracers, I think we would have learned more, but... No, it's alright. I'm just glad to know that it wasn't a crash. With this information, I should be able to take the effective countermeasures in the city. Now I need to think of a way to inform the citizens of Bose and deal with the families of the passengers. Ha! 
Well, that's just the duty of being a mayor. Since the identity of the criminals is now known, may I ask that you continue your investigation of the in incident? Excuse me. Of course. That was our plan to begin with. We've already had a run-in with these sky bandits before. Pirates. Uh, and I'll wager that the honor of the guild... On the honor of the guild... Uh, that this is one group we cannot simply leave up to the royal army. There's dad to find, and we need to deal with those pirates once and for all! Uh, yeah. I'm with Joshua 100%. I seriously don't believe it at all that those sky bandits, pirates, I mean, <clears throat> are responsible. That dad could get beaten by a bunch of sky pirates? Based on my judgment on the ability of the group that appeared in Roland? Hmm. Yep, he was. Oh, didn't I mention that? I'm embarrassed to say it, but yeah, he was. Not to mention his abraser, too. His name is Cassius Bright. Did you just say Cassius Bright? I've never met him in person, but I've heard a great deal about him. I'm sorry, I just don't know what to say. But we might be able to use this to get some information from the army. I'm very sorry, and I can empathize with what you must be going through. If there's anything I can do to help to clear this incident, then I am at your disposal. I wonder what was up with Mayor. As soon as we mentioned Dad's name, she got all surprised. Well, let's not worry about that right now. The real question is, where do we go from here? Probably... yeah. Estelle, you've matured. If it had been the same you as before, you probably would have said something like, LET'S JUST COMB THE ENTIRE REGION! <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, I think they're complimenting Estelle, but on the other hand, this doesn't really feel like a compliment. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Bose region is enormous. I really hope for a clue right about now. Yeah, like, I mean, we may as well talk to them. Haven't much to lose. Hmm. But first, let's go uh, visit the guild again. Wait, actually. Uh. Go say market. Uh. Valley. Okay, well... That's you, right? Can you Can I help you with something? My medicine works wonders. Uh, we came here after seeing something posted on the bulletin board in the Bracer Guild. Could you by any chance be Spencer? Oh, you're Bracers, are you? I've been waiting for you to come. I understand that you're trying to find places where the Bear Claw grows, correct? Yes. The Bear Claw is a medicinal herb that's difficult to find in these parts. Up until now, I've been having them shipped from Roland. But just recently, I was asked by Father Holstein to prepare a new medicine. So it seems like I'm going to be using more of these than before. That's why I decided to find my own source. 
Mm-hmm. That is correct. The bear claws tend to grow well in humid locations. I'm pretty sure it probably grows in a place like that in Bose. So, hmm. I have an idea of where it might be, but we're not going there right now. This is a long-term mission, right? Um, uh, It doesn't really say. Well, it, at the very least, it's not short-term. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything new, but let's check. Okay, yeah. It is long. So I'm pretty sure those guys, those reporter guys we're looking for are probably in the bar. I, that, I think that fits the normal pattern I've observed. But my butt is sore, so uh, I'm going to take a short break uh, to get up and stretch. That being said, I will be back in about five minutes. So uh, see you then. Okay, and we are back. Uh, into the bar. Well, it seems I was mistaken. If not the bar... Not here either. I am looking for the reporter guy and the photographer. Um, I'm drawing a blank of both their names. <laughs> but they are the ones I am looking for. Oh, whoops. I went too far. Don't want to go that way. Not yet, anyway. I feel like they're probably not in a random house. Maybe they're in the market. Well... In we go, again. Ah, it's painful! Uh, the last I saw them, they were leaving the mayor's house. hotel. Um, let's see. The where, the place I am right now, uh, looking at here, I reported my findings to the mayor and to the guild, uh, and my next part is, well, look for the reporter. So I just came back from the whatchamacallit gate, that's the border between Arbonia and Liberal. I feel like he should be in the bar, but I didn't see him in the bar. Maybe- I may have just like, n not recognized him though, admittedly. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try the bar again. Maybe I just- it is very possible that I just didn't recognize him. <laughs> hmm. Wait a second. Yep, sure enough, I did not recognize him. That ain't a joke, you know. Uh... <laughs> Well, we found him, but he's drunk off his ass. Was having that his article rejected really that much of a shock to him? He's just acting like the man he is, 
Men are pigs, after all. Present company excluded, Joshua. Though he seems to have forgotten that alcohol is a drink to be consumed, not a drink to be consumed by. And this, this is coming from Sherazard, so I'm not sure. That definitely lends something to those words, but I'm not sure what. Oh, please. Bottomless is much more suitable for a woman like Ina. I, on the other hand, can hold my liquor. No matter how much I may drink, my face and my discomposition remain unreddened. <laughs> uh, that's not the story. That doesn't quite match up with the stories I ever heard. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. She certainly does know her alcohol. Oh, come on now. When you get drunk, you lose it completely and everyone around you has a heck of a show. Admit it! It's certainly true that Ina is like a bucket to share a sleeve. But no matter how you look at it, they're both pretty bottomless. <laughs> I'm sensing disrespect, children. Oh... Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. Sort of. Drinking so much is not good for your health, you know. Oh my head. What the? You're that bracer trainee, aren't you? Oh my goddess. What the hell am I doing in Roland? <laughs> is priceless. <laughs> what are you mumbling about, you sponge? You are in Bose, and so are we! Oh, well damn! <laughs> Don't scare me like that! Oh, and I see you've got a lovely lass with you. Name's Sherazard Harvey. The pleasure's all yours, I'm sure. I'm the mentor of these two. Are you the infamous Silver Streak by any chance? Oh, you humble me, sir. I take it you've heard of me then. Only rumors, I'm afraid, but yes, I know your name. You're one of the top young bracers, if I'm not mistaken. Which means you three are here to investigate the institute as well, I suppose. Oh, so you do have some brains left in there after all the booze. I'm impressed. We saw you by the mayor's house. You seemed pretty troubled. <laughs> yeah! I was looking for clues that and couldn't find any! Damned army's regulations on the spread of information has really restricted what I'm able to learn. And if I try to consult General Morgan at Hacking Gate directly, I'll just be held up for inspection for who knows how long! So I figured I'd at least try to score an interview with the legendary voluptuous mayor, but a maid turned me down right away. And to top it all off, that useless girl kept screwing everything up! EVERYTHING! Oh, great Idios. Tell me, what did I do to deserve this shabby life? Well, you did try to do an exclusive on the mayor's chest. But if you want to give information... But if you want information that badly, we might have some to share it with you. We're actually investigating the incident on Mayor Maybell's behalf. So naturally, we've met with the mayor and General Morgan, too. <laughs> Please, I beg you, tell me everything! Every last detail! We'd be glad to. However, aren't you forgetting something, Neil? Frid quo pro. We'll scratch your back, but you'll need to scratch ours first. And get that look off your face. I totally do not mean that literally. Um, we're not interested in your money. 
We just find it fascinating that you made it your way to Bose right after the incident occurred. Seems like you might have heard some interesting things yourself, that being the case. And here I thought you were a nice kid. Turns out you're just a slimy little leech like me. No, no, no. Joshua is not a lech. <laughs> he is many things, but he's not a lech. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure that was a typo. It could have actually meant leech, but lech is spelled with one E. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what I know, but rest assured, it's not big news by any stretch. Just don't be stingy. Give it to us straight, okay? Fine! Fine! I'll tell you everything on my honor as a newsman. I've got two clues to share, so if you're taking notes, I suggest you pull out a pen and paper. Hmm. <laughs> no doubt. The first clue is in the form of an eyewitness report from the village of Revenue to the west. I've talked to the villagers who just came to Bose for a visit, and she told me something very interesting. Honestly, I think both are applicable to Niall, so... <laughs> Apparently, she knows a kid who saw a huge shadow flying overhead on the night of the incident. Yep, airship, I told him. Maybe even the missing one. But the army checked it out and found absolutely nothing. Somebody saw something, but it was probably unrelated. I'm not so sure... Indeed. The other thing I learned is that the military's intelligence division is on the move. It's a new royally sanctioned branch of the army in charge of intelligence gathering and dissemination. That's the one, yeah. Supposedly, they're so elite that they can even stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Imperial bodyguards. The man they put in charge, Colonel Richard, is apparently quite the whiz kid. With him on the case, they say this incident is as good as solved already. Doesn't seem like your information will be of much use to us in our investigation. Well yeah, can't say I didn't warn you, sorry I couldn't help much on your end. But a promise is a promise, now scratched, or I scratched, now it's your turn. Of course, a deal is a deal, after all. Good goddess, that's exactly what I needed! That's the missing link I've been killing myself to find! Absolutely! I can write my article now! I can't be wasting my time getting drunk here! I have to find Dorothy post-haste! See you later, you wonderful people, you... Wow, his spirits certainly lift fast. Well, he is chasing a big story, pretty unsuccessful until we came along. I'm glad we could help him out. <laughs> Stop thinking weird things about me. I was just negotiating. A little give and take, nothing more. Uh, evidence seems to suggest that they certainly do. <laughs> but anyway, I guess we've only really dealt with these scrupulous people so far. They're, we're pretty lucky in that regard. Start dealing with weirdos, and that's when you need to bust out some really questionable techniques. Why were you looking at me when you said that? <laughs> Is she saying you're a weirdo, or is she saying that you're where the techniques come from? <clears throat> I wonder. Was anyone else a little bothered when Neil talked about that huge shadow thing? 
I'd say there's a strong chance that well, there was nothing to it. If the army already checked it out. It must be an airship though, right? It's not necessarily the one that went missing, but it must be a airship. An airship? An airship. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like the army is totally infallible. They could have missed something. It wasn't General Morgan himself, after all, but one of his men. And some of those guys are pretty thick-headed. Yeah! I mean, it's better than nothing. Which is what we currently have. Okay, now. I just want to quickly confirm. Okay, same dialogue. Thought it would be, but I, I wanted to double check. 